This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and we are here in Kennebunkport at the Fine Living Festival with our favorite chef, Tony Clark, back again. It's wonderful to have you here. No, we can't. We're not getting rid of you. We're not getting rid of you. And of course, our special guest, Mike Cody from Bar Harbor Foods. It's wonderful and an honor to have you here on our pleasure. set today. Pleasure to be here. And showcasing some of your You fine... say it's a pleasure now. We yeah. 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 Wait until I put you to work, right? Exactly. But it really is a pleasure to be using some of your wonderful ingredients. I was just sniffing your clam juice here, and I swear I could be sitting on the rock, rocky beach of Kennebunkport, really. I mean, the smell of the yeah, sea is, is great. And this is actually an award-winning clam juice. Absolutely. Look at it. It's nice and clear yes. and clean and very flavorful. In <laughs> fact, you're going to be making for us a, a recipe yeah. that you're famous for, your pizza. I am. I mean, this is absolutely a crowd pleaser. Ooh. I mean, I make this up at camp, and I just can't make enough of it. You make it at People camp? People love it. I make it at camp. People yes. love it. They really? can't get enough. Yeah. So what are you using? What pro of your products well, are you I'm going to be using? using our clam chowder, and this is Good. a really easy easy product to prepare in your home and it's as easy as this. You open the can. It's as easy as this. Exactly. You, you open, open the, the can. can. Yeah, I love that. Right? <laughs> wow, this is not my can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're based in Whiting, Maine. In Whiting, correct? Maine and right on Holmes Bay. We're showcasing some of your soups and your clam juices today, but you have a, a, a lot of products in your, in your We do. Product, it's correct? a very, very broad portfolio. What we have here today is basically our cooking stocks and our clam juice, and of course we're showing you our clam chowder. Right. But I do a whole line of sauces, bisques, I do a whole line of chowders, we do a whole line of canned fish, we Wonderful. even can Maine lobster. So we wow. do a lot of shelf-stable products, about 40 different products that we produce under the Bar Harbor name. That's impressive. Yeah. And yeah. I see, Tony, you're very, you're busy as a beaver over here. What do you have going Listen, on? Listen, first of all, I'm starting with the little haddock. Right, I'm in, Maine, I'm in Maine, you know? I, you're inspired. So, but I, I started with the clam stock and seafood stock. Mm -hmm. You ever hear that stuff? Yeah, uh, you know what, Bar you Harbor. You can't get this, but only in this can. That's right. That's it. So don't make this recipe unless you have this can. I put a little ginger in there. Ginger. A little chili pepper. And I had a chili Scallion. Pepper. Scallion. A little celery onion. Nice. I put a little soy sauce. Nice. A little chili sauce, a little sesame oil. And we're just going to kind of boil all this together. We're poaching our fish. Yes. Is this a poached fish? We're going to put it in the oven. Oh, putting it in the oven? Yeah. Okay. Why not? We have it. We have an Why oven. Why not with a beautiful oven here <laughs> yeah, at Chase Let's Hill. use it. You know? Let's use it. Yeah, I'll turn right? it on. That's it. Turn it on. That's Go ahead. It. You That's turn it. that oven on, Thank Tony. You. It's already started. Beautiful. Already got Look it. at this. Oh, I know, and this is so easy. So this is All you're really doing here is spreading the clam chowder over the shell. Okay. You know, and, and I like to use, we use you know, a pre-prepared shell, but I like to use a real dough. An authentic Yeah, and make it really nice and thin. Yes. And it's as simple as this. You've got the clam chowder on here. You've got the cheese. And, and what kind of cheese are you on using? There. This is just a pizza cheese. Pizza this cheese? happens to be a four blend pizza cheese that Good. I like to use. The secret weapon, a little bacon on there. Oh, bacon it's and really clam chowder nice is, a, is a natural marry. And I'll tell you, it just is absolutely Can I steal a little piece of bacon? I love bacon. Yeah, you can't resist the bacon. Stuff. So now, Tony. Yes. What's going on here? You got another pot? Yes, that's the Newberg sauce. The Newberg sauce. And, Very nice. And I like to add a little. You ready for that, Bubba? I'm ready to oh. go. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. Now, is that's the up in here? No, not me. Yeah, I wouldn't Just either. as it is, no pan, nothing. Just as it is, you can put it right on the rack. Right on the rack. You can put it on a pizza stone. I like to use a pizza stone at home. Yeah, so do I. Mike, if I can have that half, half and half, half, you got it. The other half. No, the other half of that half. <laughs> you got me looking half. for it. He's the other half. <laughs> Better half. So, you making this, uh, Cocktail here? Oh, cocktail. you want me to make a cocktail? Well, That's I mean, right. I mean, you I, had listen, laid out all the ingredients. I'm the, the cocktail lady. The first 15 shows you were there for your beauty. Now it's time to work. Okay. <laughs> now I'm the bartender. Yeah. Right? Well, so now, this is called the Bloody Caesar. Correct. Right? And you're going to tell me how to make the Bloody Caesar. Oh, absolutely. Right? Right? Okay. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, it's like making a Bloody Mary. You start off, and uh, of course, you've got your vodka in there, if that's your favorite. Right. So, then and then I like to use a vegetable juice. Okay. And so then I'll add the vegetable juice. Right. So this is available the in, in any grocery store. We're going to add the entire uh, picture? Yeah, you can do that. And so. to me, the secret weapon, the most important thing is, of course, some really good horseradish. Newberg sauce. I put a little half and half, some asparagus. Some what we call pinky toe crab or Jonah pinky crab. Pinky toe crab, that's right. What's yeah. next? I would do the double dose of, uh, double dash, I should say, of the Worcestershire, of Worcestershire sauce. I like, I like the really beefy Bloody Mary. Okay, nice. And then the last ingredients to top it off to make it a Bloody Caesar would be your clam juice. 
I wonder if yeah. it changes. So do you want me to add the whole bottle? Please, no, I just add really, uh, really? up to the neck. Okay. Yeah. You good? You're there. Am I good? All right. Stir it. Pour and it over ice. Now we have ourselves a You're beautiful ready to go. drink. Tony. Yes. He's still my heart. What is going uh, on I'm, here? I'm rocking it and rolling. This is, you okay. have some lobster. You have some beautiful baby carrots. Yes. You have some here spring onions. You have some peas. And the lobster was just uh, picked out of the ocean today. There you go with the lobster stock. Oh, no, I so do, we just yeah. had a little lobster stock. Okay. Which you can't buy anywhere. You're actually located on a lot of grocery store shelves now. We're going to find the supermarkets across the U.S. as well as natural food stores. So we're pretty well available. About 28% of grocery stores in the U.S. at this point. Good. And growing fast. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks beautiful, Mike, your pizza. We're really rocking and rolling. Wonderful. We have our beautiful bread bowl here. Got it. And Thanks, this is actually Tony. going to be the, almost like the, uh, the bowl for our, our lobster new bird yes, dish yes. here, right? Our soup is boiling away. We're doing good. We're going to add some scallops to that. Good. A little post scallops. We're going actually from breakfast to lunch to dinner today, all with your products, all from with Bar Harbor. This is probably pretty much done at this That's point. That's it, and I'm just going to put a little ricotta cheese on top. You, oh, over ricotta! Yeah. What a nice touch! Ah. So this so, dish is done. Our right. frittata, our seafood frittata. And this is with the clam broth and the fish broth with all yes. the spices. And then we're just going to pour some of this on top. Some of the juice on top. How nice would that be? Some of that crusty bread yeah. too, right? Some pickled ginger. Another beautiful Onion. dish completed. We're ready to do this one. What I like about this, it soaks in the bread. Oh yeah, so that bread gets all that mm -hmm. nice, beautiful yeah. juice. And how lucky we are to enjoy a fine array of dishes, all with a gourmet twist, all with a different kind of a twist, made all with Bar Harbor foods. Mike, try that, try that fast in there. Mm. I got a fork with it. I mean, that mm. had it. Now this pizza was made using your clam chowder. Really easy recipe. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's phenomenal. Simple. This is the clam chowder. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what was made? This was baby corn, um, potatoes, little bacon. And then we, we use the clam chowder, mm -hmm. the um, Bar Harbor clam chowder as our base. This is so intriguing. The presentation of this, you get an A plus for that with the bread bowl. Now, this was made with the lobster Newberg, is that correct? And the lobster stock. And the lobster stock, okay. So, Unbelievable. His scallops. Why not just go for wow. a nice piece of lobster, right? We are in Maine, and why not enjoy it? Break bread together. Break bread together. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mmm. There you go, Mike. Oh, wow. I'm really Watch out for the drips. I heard a guy that owns his table. Mm. Mm. So now we have a marvelous frittata. And tell me about, the, the, you also used the Newberg on this frittata, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what else was in this? Picotel crammy, right. asparagus, and we got the cheese. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. For our soup? Right? Yes, miso soup with wakimi and shiitake mushrooms and scallops with the fish broth. We use the we, fish broth in this. Mm -hmm. Okay, the fish broth that uh, you can only get it from Bar Harbor. You can't buy it nowhere else. There, I don't care what mm. anybody says. It either comes in mm. a powder Very or whatever. Very clean, Not, Asian accent to that. Yeah, well. Really clean and really nice. This is the haddock and you used the clam juice in this? The clam juice and, fi and, uh, and the fish seafood stock. stock. And the seafood stock, okay. But it, it really does the job mm. for you when you have a good product. This has an Asian flair to it, too. Mm. Mm, but nice little spicy kick yeah, to it. Yeah, a little kick to it. Yeah. Thank Mike you. Cody, thank you so Absolute much for being pleasure. on our show. It's thank been such you. a pleasure working oh, with your great. product. Thank you for a yep. marvelous day in the Chef's Kitchen. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the Chef's Kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.